In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Undetectable AI. Undetectable is a AI detector tool that will recognize AI written content. And if it does show as AI content, you can click a button which will humanize the content and then it will pass the AI content detectors. You might be asking why you would want to use this sort of tool. If you know anything about AI writing tools, one in particular called ChatGPT, you'll know it's extremely accessible now meaning anyone can jump in and ask it to write a blog, an article, a university paper, or just long form content. As you can imagine, students, agency firms, even legal professionals might try to take a shortcut. And whilst these AI writing tools are really very good, they are still hallucinating, meaning the information that they spit out isn't always factual. So a tool like Undetectable could be really handy. Let's jump into the tool and I'll show you around. Once you've created an account, you'll be displayed with a simple interface. I would recommend scrolling a little bit down the page and you'll find a quick start tutorial. One of the first things that you'll see is this is your main area. Now, depending on the sort of content you'll be scanning, you can customize it to high school, university, doctorate, journalist, or even marketing. You can then tell it the purpose. So whether it's a essay, general writing, a story, a cover letter, etc. And then at the bottom, you have some further personalized options that you can tell the tool if you want it more readable, if you want it more balanced between AI and human, or if you just want it more human. Now let's head over to ChatGPT and get it to write an article. So I'm going to say, write a blog about teaching a dog to sit. And with the power of video editing, I'm gonna jump straight to the completed blog. We'll go ahead and copy the first two paragraphs. Head over here and paste it in. We'll change the readability to high school and the purpose article. Now, before we do anything, we need to agree to the terms of service and then we should always start off by checking for AI. Now, what it's done here is each one of these names is actually an AI detector and Undetectable has plugged into all of these detectors and it's testing it across all of these platforms. Each icon and color represents a different message. So the tick means it's written 100% human. The orange X means it's 50% human and the red X means it's 0% human. In other words, completely written by AI. So if you would have run this through OpenAI, Writer or Crossplug, it would have passed and these AI detectors wouldn't have, re wouldn't have recognized that it was in fact written by AI. Whereas Sapling, Content at Scale, Zero GPT and GPT Zero all think it's 50% human. But we know it was 100% and copy leaks detected that. So let's go ahead and make this more human and then click humanize. It's now rewritten the text and then tested it against all of the AI detectors. And what you know, it's passed with flying colors. You can then copy the output or if you're not happy with the rewrite of this, you can click humanize again and it will redo it. You can also compare it with your original submission, which is found here, just at the bottom. Moving over to documents, this is your history area. Basically, every single time you run Undetectable, the text that you analyze will be then logged in the document section. You can click on a document and it will show you the original and the new output. What's really cool is you can even plug this into your own softwares or no code solutions. So if you use something like Zapier or you're just a developer, you can use this for your own system, which is a really nice touch. So what do I think of undetectable AI? We're living in a world where we are absolutely swamped with different tools and softwares, and then the competition for every tool is vast. Having a tool that centralizes many different tools in one place, like undetectable AI, using lots of other AI detectors is really handy. It's also lightweight, not clunky, easy to use and fast. I also think when we're using tools like this, it's always really nice to have the ability to integrate it into our own systems and softwares. So having the API access is a nice touch as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.